probably can't hear me because this truck has no AC. We just got a bunch of uh, supplies for finishing the RV and samples for the house because um, we discovered when our guy came to uh, put the foundation piers in that we have to kind of know what we're going to put in the finished product. So we had to get, I know what I want in my head, so I had, but I had to get actual physical, real life samples of all those things so we knew how thick they were you know and like how they'll fit into spaces so which was fun for me I just got a bunch of wood floor samples and all the white paint swatches that they have and uh and now you probably can't hear me so bye can we just have an Instagram moment and appreciate how pretty this breakfast is I mean throw a filter on that and Pinterest hi Okay, so we went and picked up a lot of um, samples and I think I've made some solid choices on what I want to put in the new house. So I wanted to show you the samples I picked up and then also um, some other stuff for the RV and then um, just I've been doing, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. Um, so I'm going to show you. So first I picked up a couple samples for flooring. Let's see, just a couple. And we had a specific thickness that we had to stay within. It had to be 12 millimeters um, because of the measurements that our framer has and the measurements that the foundation guy has, which is fine with me because it means it's a thicker, probably a, a better product. That's fine. Um, and I am really pretty set on this one. This is called Brave Bainbridge Oak, and that's pretty close to true in color. It's a nice, it's a really nice oaky kind of shade. It's a cool tone, kind of ashy, kind of matches my hair actually. <laughs> um, and I like how wide the planks are. Um, this is a nice color too, but you see how it's thinner. I just really like that wide planked look. So that for flooring everywhere. And then for the um, bathrooms, I wanted to do something like this. This is like a concrete looking tile and it comes in a two, I'm sorry, a 12 inch by 24 inch rectangle, you know, rectangular tile. So we'll probably do those in a, um, you know, like a brick, like layout, um, which I think will look really nice. And the, it, the fact that it looks kind of like concrete definitely um, helps with that industrial vibe that I love so much. So there'll be this flooring everywhere, basically, and then this flooring in the bathrooms. And then we'll have uh, subway tile um, in the shower and in our bathroom we're gonna have a uh, just a it'll be seamless like the entire floor will be out of this and then we will have a, um, a frameless shower like a piece of glass basically that just kind of um, you know rests right on the floor there might be a small lip but it'll, we hope for it to just kind of be a seamless floor all in this. And then subway tile on the wall in the shower. And then actually the um, vanity that I found is it's very similar to this color. It's a beautiful vanity. It's too expensive, but I really love it. But that's the hope is that all the um, cabinetry in the bathrooms will be this tone. So it kind of marries the two spaces together. So also that subway tile is going to go in the kitchen. And um, I'm thinking that it'll be, we'll have a, um, a white, you know, subway tile backsplash, probably with a light gray grout, so it doesn't compete too much with the, um, there are black mullions in the windows that we bought, um, so it has like, it looks like it has panes of glass, but they're black, you know, hash marks, hash marks? I don't know what you call them. So I didn't want to compete too much with those, you know, lines, with a bunch of lines on our tile so hopefully the a light gray will kind of help it to fade a little bit into the background but still be a you know you'll still be able to kind of see the that design element that it's subway tile and then so everything's white in that main area the walls are white the trim is white um, where's the white that I like um this I think it's this white or it's this white both of these whites are kind of in the top my top two 
Um, and the trick is that they all, all, whatever white we choose to put on the wall has to both go well with the subway tile and the cabinetry that we choose. And I'm not sure if we'll be painting the cabinetry or if we'll buy it pre, um, like pre-finished because we are, we're very happy with our Ikea cabinets from the last house. So we'll probably go with Ikea again. It's affordable. Um, we really liked the product. It was durable. Um, it was well made, to be honest with you. So we will see what finishes they have available, and then we have to like coordinate all the whites, which, again, riveting all the whites. So white everything. And then I think that what I'm going to do is go ahead and do not a, not a true tuxedo kitchen, um, which is where a tuxedo kitchen is where the bottom cabinets are a dark color and the top cabinets are usually white or open shelves. What we're, um, I'm thinking is we'll do what, both white uppers and lowers, uppers and lowers, and um, we'll have stainless steel countertops and oil rub bronze fixtures, and then I think that we'll paint the island, we'll have an island, it'll be a smaller one, but the island will be painted either um, as like a, almost a black, this is called caviar from Sharon Williams. Um, or it'll be, this is a, like a more charcoal color, this is called rock bottom. This kind of has, this has a green-ish tint to it. Like it's definitely, mm, that it looks with that flooring. Um, so the island will most likely be painted this color. And whatever color that island is painted, because the trim on the outside of the house is um, going to be black. It'll be a white house with black trim. Um, and then a wood door, probably this color if I can stain it this color. I already ordered that door, um, so we'll hopefully it will be able to, to pick up these, that ashy tone that I like. Um, but anyway, so the island will be probably painted one of these two colors, throwing over there, one of these two colors, and it'll just sit on top of this um, really awesome flooring. And then every, you know, all the other cabinets are white in the kitchen. What's your vote? What would you do? Would you go with just a, a more solid black, or would you, lean towards this charcoal color. It is really registering uh, like an olive tone, but it really is a pretty true charcoal gray. So let me know what you think we should do with that. Um, and then, so that's everything we got for the um, house. Um, and we ordered, um, we ordered the trusses for the roof, the, for the vault of the roof. And we ordered all of our whole lumber package. We got that coming. It's supposed to be delivered on the 10th, I think. Um, and the rain has delayed our foundation and of course as I say that it's sunny outside and there is no rain but it's supposed to rain all this weekend so they can't you know dig holes and then leave them to be filled up with water you know so it's delayed and that's fine it's just the nature of construction we get it so but that's everything that we have um, picked out for the house um, oh but I do have this fixture this is for the bathroom and the RV I'm not going to open it because that's <laughs> that didn't work last time anyway. So that's what it looks like. I think I'm also going to use this fixture in the master bathroom. It's really cheap. It's only 30 bucks. So that's a really <laughs> so and they're going to be three of them, you know. So that makes it 90 dollars. But instead of buying three 90 dollar fixtures, I'm going to just buy three 30 dollar fixtures. I think that will look really cool. And I will insert a picture of the um, vanity that I want for our master bathroom. It's my dream. I am honestly like willing, to, I'm like, well, let's just do vinyl tile so I can have this vanity. So hopefully it won't come to that, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice because it is so beautiful. So uh, that's for the art. Uh, I'm editing my video and I realized I didn't, it cut me off in the middle of talking. Um, my hair is looking great. And I didn't say goodbye or end my sentence even. So um, that's my whole design ramble. Um, I'm excited to see it all come together. Let me know what you think about what color we should do our island, or maybe yeah, there's a color I'm not considering. That would be amazing. Or maybe you think I should do it all white. Um, let me know. I'm curious to see what your ideas are. Um, I look so <laughs> rough. Uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Um, and have a good night. Bye.